Universal Audio, tip number 10, beat mapping. I have two tracks here that were recorded live. There are two acoustic guitars. One is a, a classical guitar and one is a steel string guitar. Uh, this intro part, there's just the, the one guitar, but as soon as we get into the duo here, you'll, you'll hear the, uh, the classical guitar start strumming a little bit and they, they kind of lock in together, but we need to uh, beat map that section. So let's take a listen right fast to this part here. Okay, so I know that this is going to be in 2-4 time, but when it was recorded, it was just recorded at the standard 120 beats per minute. So we don't really have a time, and that's okay. What I'm going to do is come into section here with the uh, duo starts. And clearly that is the first beat of that measure. So. I'm going to tab to that transient right there. I'm using this uh, classical guitar track to do that. I'm going to go to edit and select bar one. That's going to tell Luna that that's where we're going to start the beat mount. Okay, so two, one, there's my next one right there. Now there's a shortcut to do this next part, the align bar, that's uh, option, command, and I. I will tell it that's measure two. Tap to that transient, option, command, I. Option command I again. Okay, that's enough right there. Now if I turn on uh, the metronome, we can hear the click track follow that. And I can go on and do the rest of the song that way. So that's Universal Audio, tip number 10, beat mapping.